Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make our sprite to face our movement direction. So as you can see here, if I uh, move to the right, the sprite is facing to the right. Yeah, let's move. And when I move to the left, our sprite will flip to the left direction, as you can see here. Okay, so let's start working. I have already prepared the scene. On the scene we have only background, which is not relevant for this tutorial. Uh, we have Grant. Grant has its uh, box collider for, uh, for our uh, player to not drop below the, the level of the Grant. And we have the player with a rigid body, a box collider and a movement script uh, tutorial attached. In a few seconds we'll write just a flipped script. But to be honest, to move, to rotate our player, so to flip our player on the other side, we just need to change the scale of our X. As you can see here, if I will put minus, it move, it rotates to left. If it's a one, it rotates to the right. So now, let's start uh, writing our script. Here, what I have already prepared, it's my movement script. So I have a float value of move input. So it's uh, what you press on the, it's horizontal input. It's uh, the arrows you, pre you press on the keyboard. So this indicates if we move left or right based on the arrow pressed. So here we have the value which uh, stores this, uh, this pressed button. We have float move speed. Uh, this is our value which we will be adding here. Move speed which we set up from our inspector view due to the fact it's public. Uh, and here we have our reference for a rigid body. A rigid body is responsible for physics, for movement. So on the rigid body 2D, I get I just reference the component, the rigid body, which I have mentioned here, which we, which we are going to use for the movement script. And here, as I mentioned, we have move input. We just store the axis. And on our move, we have just a rigid body. We refer to velocity. Uh, sorry, not this one. This one. We refer to velocity here, to this velocity on our rigid body component, which is going to allow us to move our script. I will just present you just, uh, I will just press play. So here you can see the change of, vel of velocity minus and plus four, okay? And how the script works, uh, we just switch this, we just set up the rigid body velocity from our move script uh, we just put under the velocity new vector of move input. So this means which arrow. So this is plus or minus one multiplied by move speed. So our value five. And here we have rigid body 2D velocity y reference. So this, this reference means because we need to put value x, x, so movement x, left or right, and value y. So value uh, top and down of our speed. So we just by saying you uh, to use a rigid body 2D velocity y, we reference to the core current velocity our rigid body has. So it means we will use the velocity which we have currently set up. So to not change the velocity, uh, we are just using this value on y. Yeah. So we are not changing the velocity. Uh, I hope it's clear for you. And now let's write uh, let's write our script for uh, flip. So to do the uh, flip, we need to reference our uh, our scale value. So let's write float scale x. Uh, x value is the one we will change here. Here we will be referencing our x value so to, to rotate our player or flip our player. Depends how, how you would like to call it. Okay, so this is this value, and now let's say our scale x is equal to tra transform that local scale dot x. So we are just under scale x, we're just storing our local scale value. So we just uh, okay. So we are just taking under scale x this value from this reference. Okay, hope it's clear. Uh, and now 
what is going to happen next, we need to write our flip function. So for our flip, to do our flip, let's write public void flip and to flip our player, we just need to reference our movement. So if our move input, so if we move right, move uh, move input yeah, it's here is greater than zero. We just need to set up transform that local scale equal to new vector free. And now under x value we put scale scale x transform that local scale. Alright, so this 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 means we just take current local scale and not changing local scale on the y value, just change it on the x and same we'll do for the um, for the z value. So that z okay and if our input, uh, sorry, if um, move input is less than zero, transform. Yeah, we can. To be honest, we can copy this one. And only what we need to do is to multiply by minus one. Our scale x, okay. And let's put this flip under our move script. Just so let's do it here. And now, if we will test our function, just okay. Something is loading. Ah. Okay. So now, if we just press play, and we'll move. Yeah, as you can see here, our sprite flips to the movement rotation. And that's all for today's video. So if you like this video, please don't forget, forget to press the like button and subscribe. If you have any questions, please write them in the comments so I can answer. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye bye.